Hello and welcome to another video. I just, uh, my friends, they make fun of me because that's always what I'm saying. So yeah, welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to talk about this one. It's our new oil pan with uh, increased uh, capacity. It has uh, 1.25 liters more oil capacity, uh, which is quite a lot because yeah, it's just a lot more than stuff. A few things or what, what's the biggest difference between those two is um, oil capacity, obviously. I'm gonna show you a few detailed images of the oil pan in just a minute. So the biggest difference is it's a lot bigger. It has uh, some additional cooling fins and it's much more rigid than the stock one because that's just a flimsy part of the metal and that's a billet oil pan. You might have guessed in here that's where uh, the pickup point for the oil is. You also get <coughs> new bolts with it because this one's just a very thin tin hmm. and that's a little bit bigger so you need different bolts. And there's also uh, two studs with a nut on it so you have to remove those those are uh torques yeah you just need to uh, take them out but they come out quite easily and you'll get obviously new bolts uh, what we also changed because i don't really like the stock um oil bolt is you get a much bigger one and with a magnet so it's much easier to uh, drain it and it gets a lot faster because it's a lot bigger and with the magnet it's gonna catch some debris and if you have some uh, metal parts in which isn't obvious uh, which isn't ideal obviously but if you have some small uh, metal stuff this one's gonna pick it and then you'll also get this bracket right here which goes in here and is secured with four bolts, which we're gonna lock tight in and make sure they don't fall out. So uh, basically it's very easy to change. You just take off this one and put in the new one. It does work without the lamp speed baffle plates, but it's actually designed to work with the lamp speed baffle plates um, because they are very well designed in my opinion. and didn't want to change those and a lot of you guys already have them so you can just reuse them again these are designed to use with them so that's just the prototype for now um swiss made uh, actually it is swiss made it's made uh, 20 minutes from my workshop and it's also designed in switzerland so everything's made in here or in switzerland I didn't. I had a few offers to have them made overseas, which would be a lot cheaper, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I like to have production uh, very close to home, so I can interfere if anything is wrong with it. We're gonna test it in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks at uh, Nürburgring at the last event of the year or at the last uh, time attack event of the year and then the week after in three weeks on a sunday at Anodura. after that we're gonna check data logs we're gonna uh, remove the oil pan again and check if everything works and still is where it is and after that it's gonna go into production then i'd say we're gonna assemble the oil pan and then put it in the car let's go
that's how you install the baffled oil plate or oil pan, not plate, oil pan. It's very easy to install. You get uh, every necessary bolt and everything. You just need some uh, sealant like this right here. Uh, we use this one. This uh, dries up quite quickly and you can start the car quite fast. So yeah, that's what we use to uh, seal everything. Yeah. There's a lot of other stuff out there, and uh, but this works quite nicely. I, I don't, uh, as you can see, the car is already back on the ground. And as you can see, it's not uh, Saturday anymore. It's actually Sunday. I forgot <laughs> to make uh, that part of the video yesterday. And uh, as you can see, we have uh, some coke in the, in the engine bay. Um, yeah, that's going to be the topic of a different video. Um, but it's quite easy uh, to install the oil pan. Uh, if you, uh, you have to clean everything, obviously. So that takes mostly the most time. And we just filled up everything now. And with the oil cooler or with uh, our oil cooler kit, I'm now at nearly seven liters of oil. We had uh, six or uh, stock is 4.3. Um, then with the uh, additional cooler you get 0 0.8 to roughly a liter. You get about uh, a liter of additional oil volume, uh, so that helps a lot. And the new baffle plate adds another 1.2 or 1.3. I think it's even a little bit more. Um, I have to check when the car uh, has been hot and the oil cooler is um, filled properly. Right now I think it's filled up, but uh, I just drove uh, around the workshop, so I'm not 100% sure how much it is. We're now at 6.5 liters of oil and it's just right in the middle where you want it. And yeah, because now there's no need to overfill it anymore. You can overfill the engine by, or some do it uh, on the racetrack by like a half a liter or so. Uh, if you don't have any baffle plates, um, yeah, I, I never did that and uh, we just installed baffle plates and now the oil pan. So uh, 4.3 to 5 to 5.2 uh, roughly and this, yeah, six and a half liters around, um, six and a half to seven liters. That will help a lot. Um, it will also increase uh, the price of an oil service, obviously, but yeah. That's gonna help with uh, nearly or about 50% more oil. That's gonna help quite a lot to keep temperatures down. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a good week. Bye.